I, I want everyone to know I don't like Nixie. I just want everyone to know that. Exclamation point Falcon in the chat. <laughs> All right, losers, semis. I feel like one of the main differences, because it's, it's the same character that Dill's was going against, but I feel like Jen is going to push. Yeah. He's going to get all the way through him. He's not going to play like so trepidatious. He's just going to be like, yeah, if I got my chance, I'm going to you. Look, he lands behind the shield. Rob can't do anything about that near behind the shield. Like, there was... See, it's... It, like, now Now we're, like, a bit deeper into the game. Like, things have, like, evolved and metas have grown and stuff. Right. Like, so, like, in the very beginning, Dill had a problem versus Palu. And, you know, understandably so, this matchup definitely looks really tough. I think everyone started off with a problem with Palu. Yeah. Then. And then he went through an era where he literally beat all the Palus. Like, he beat Jen, he beat Ray, and he beat Frozen. Like, it was just like, okay. Right? Right. Uh, but, you know, I think Jen just kind of like, you know, he was traveling, he was leveling up, and... Uh, yeah, because we have to remember, Jen started playing this game before he had the game. Yeah. So it's like, he definitely started like turning up once he got the game. And he was like, actually, I can figure stuff out in my house? That's Incredible. broken. Incredible! He was like, uh... But like, he still gets like really close games with him, which is pretty, you know, in pretty intense. Now all he has to do is clutch it out. Like, god damn. Like, saw so that, like, they were both at 150 plus. And then but they wanted to punch the, kill. the fire, yeah. Yeah. Why are you trying to punch fire? Is she dead? She dies off the top kind of early. That's what I noticed about her. What, the up throw? No, no, just Palutena in general. She dies off the top kind of early. Well, she's like kind of light, right? But I feel like, because, you know, dying off the top is different because it's not only your weight that determines it. Well, like, uh, there's your, the, like, your per, your character's gravity. Exactly, and I think there's the gravity. I don't know her gravity, so I'm like, because she's not that, she's a, she's not, like, a floaty either, so I feel like she shouldn't be dying that early for her weight, but. She's definitely not a fast faller, though. She's not a fast faller either, but it's, like, it's still, like, I feel like she dies earlier than her, like, we got a, speed warrants. It's, like, a light character with mid-gravity. Like, I don't know if you know. Oh, oh that's no, a no, bad no, situation. No, no. Okay. Is he yeah. having jump still? Oh, that tech might have, like, helped him a lot, actually. might have a lot. Yeah. Oh, that would have been so cute. I like when Dill does stuff like that. Dill is one of those players who is like, he's technical, but not in the way that you normally think of like technical. He's not like technical like input wise, he's just technical in like terms of like placement of his hitboxes. Oh, you died in there. I, I think the word you're looking for is fundamental. But more like precise. I feel like it's like a little, still like a little deeper okay. than fundamentals. Okay. Like, he's just, like, a very precise... <gasps> what the, you see? Dude, he pulled him out of the... He's like, the yeah, you wanted this drift. ledge, but I am going to spin. Pulled him out of that interdimensional drift right there. Fair. Yo, when I get hit with that, I get hit with, like, three more fairs in the down tilt. But, yeah, I mean, you are right. Like, Dill is very calculated. Like, he really thinks about his positioning and his spacing and, like, where he can go for his windows. Yeah, exactly. And it's, it, like, that, that definitely stems from him being, like, a brawl player. It also, that like, was all you had, man. Yeah. But it's like he also like rarely misses, if that makes sense. Like, yeah. He's very precise. Yeah. No, exactly. Like when he swings, he swings. Yeah. It's just like I'm using this for pressure. I'm using this to land hits. Right. You know? So I, I, that's that's my biggest like comment to him. Jen is just amazing overall, so I don't need to compliment him. Are you going to die here? Ooh, I like the idea. That was such a good idea. I feel like it was just a little too late. Yeah, pretty unfortunate that it didn't work out because it was so good. But, you know, mess up, I'm gonna die. Yeah, he was quick to kill him for that. He was like, yeah. <laughs> good awareness by Jen to just be like, oh, he's sinking. Time to spike him. Yeah, exactly. You know, because, like, some people would be like... Oh, my God, I almost died. Did you yeah, see that? Exactly. I'm going back to the stage. Exactly. And you're just like, I need a breather. Yeah, it's like, no, get me away from him. Where did we go? I always miss the stage. Oh, okay. Just right back. back to PS2. I feel that. It's like the thing where you're like, I don't need to change the stage. I need to change me. It's like, again, that was really close. Like... It was. Could have been anyone's game. Still reached out a little bit too far. We talk about how like he's really calculating and all that, but like when it comes to like sealing it out, especially versus player like Jen, character like Palu, it's definitely still very difficult. 
No, yeah. No matter how calculated you are, now he has no jump. Yeah. Just give Dilla Stockley, then he's the best player in the freaking world, and <laughs> it's really obnoxious. He's like, hmm, advantage. Oh, he almost confirmed from, like, Mad Bar. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I, yo, I don't even try to pick up the gyro anymore, because I just get smacked by it every time I try to touch it. Dill uh, perpetuates this. He's like, hey, man, if you just spend, like, 10, 15 minutes trying to practice picking up the gyro, you won't have any trouble with him. Like, that's a goddamn lie. That thing is sentient. All yeah, right? That, that thing moves, bro. It moves. It wobbles. So it, it'll just, like, move in and out of range. You know how many times I try to counter it and it dodges me? It still hit Dill. That's so weird. I don't know how that works. He's gonna die from jab. Yep. That's broken. Down throw. Just go for the jump. Go for the jump. I feel like a lot of people have been like directional air dodging, like diagonally away from Dill when they mash. So that's probably what that F smash is for. Say that again. Like when people mash out of his down throw, they like directionally air dodge down and away from Dill, like immediately. So I feel like that's what the, the air dodge, the, the yeah. air smash was for. That's a that's a really spooky thing to go for though, because like that's like such a like a specific situation. Yeah, because he can read that and just re grab you, and he's just like, "Sup, homie," and you're like, "Please stay away from again. me." Oh man, Dill finally taking a stock. Oh, he's he blasted down. him, and then he got burned. I think Dill's, yeah, he wasn't like, he wasn't feeling it. That's a, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Because like comebacks, a character like Rob, I don't think he's the best at comebacks if your opponent is just playing really solid because yeah. he doesn't really push his objective. He kind of just like, I can fight you, yeah, but I can't like force the fight. He's, I can't like go up to you and start fucking you up. I got to like. trying his best. <laughs> he's like, just a toy, yeah. man. Yeah. People need to forget and need to remember he's not made of metal. He's made of plastic. 